Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today we're going to be talking about how you can read more books in 2021. I know a lot of people have the New Year's resolution that they would like to read more this year so I have nine tips for how you can make that happen. Before we jump right in, be sure to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. I make new videos every single week and would love for you to join my little YouTube community. All right, tip number one, read what you actually like. I think people have the misconception sometimes that if they're going to be reading, then they have to be reading the classics or sophisticated literature, you know, the kind of stuff that they would teach in a high school English class. But that is not at all true. If Dickens and Fitzgerald happen to be your cup of tea, then great. But if they're not, then that's also great. If you are more partial to romance novels, books about vampires, or time travel, or historical fiction, then find books in those genres and go from there. Fiction isn't the only option either. Maybe you're really into computers or the history of fashion or you really, really love self-help books. I know I do. Those books are definitely on the table as well. Tip number two, bring your book everywhere and read whenever you can. I used to think that if I was going to read, I had to have an entire half hour or an hour free. The reality is that a lot of us don't have that kind of time in a day. And if we keep waiting for a time that doesn't exist, then we end up never reading. But what a lot of us do actually have are small 5, 10, or 15 minute blocks of time in between classes or on the bus ride to work or while waiting for a doctor's appointment. So we can make use of that time and read. And in order to do that, we have to make sure that we have our book wherever we go. So put it in your bag the night before you go somewhere so that you don't forget. Tip number three, build up a TBR or to be read pile. It doesn't have to be an actual physical pile like mine, but you should have some idea of what book or books that you want to read next. So a running list of titles would do this way. After you finish one book, you don't lose momentum by spending a lot of time trying to figure out what you want to read next, you'll already know. To that end, it can be really helpful to do things like listen to book podcasts, follow Instagram accounts that have to do with books, or subscribe to YouTubers who talk about their book recommendations, just so you have a steady stream of titles to add to your own TBR. Tip number four, set a specific goal, but start small. As with many things, it's important to know what you specifically hope to achieve. However, a lot of people make the mistake of setting really large and ambitious goals from the get-go, and these goals can feel so unattainable and scary that we don't even go about trying to achieve them. So if you're not already a voracious reader, it's better to start small. So instead of saying, I want to read two books a month or one book every single week, Maybe say, I want to read 15 minutes a day or 20 pages a day. Small goals like this are a lot less daunting, so we're more likely to tackle them. And then once the small goal starts to feel really, really easy, then you can build on it and set a bigger goal. Tip number five, track your reading. You can get creative with this one. So I know some people like to have a spreadsheet where they will digitally record the titles, the genres, and their reviews of all the books that they read. I personally like to keep a physical journal that I write pretty much all that same information in, but I'm physically writing in it and I really love the aesthetic of having a really pretty reading journal. Um, maybe for you, you would prefer to use like a tracking app or maybe you bullet journal and so you already have like a habit tracker that you can incorporate the habit of reading into. Basically just find whatever works and feels the best for you. And then once you have the ideal tracking method for you, you can record every single time you finish a book. And then the act of recording a title and putting it down and kind of building up this record of your progress can become an incentive to keep going in and of itself. Tip number six, don't be afraid to abandon a book that you're really not vibing with. Let's be real, some books are just bad. 
Other books are good, but goodness is subjective, so maybe it's just really not your particular cup of tea. There is nothing wrong whatsoever with admitting that and putting down a book that you just really do not like. If you force yourself to stick with something that you really do not like, you're probably going to end up reading less every single day or reading at a slower pace and maybe even enjoy reading less in general and this will hinder your overall progress. Tip number seven, consider swapping out social media for reading. One of my New Year's resolutions is to spend less time scrolling mindlessly on my phone. I'm talking Instagram and Facebook primarily. When I'm not careful, I can spend hours of my day just swiping through tons and tons of posts and photos that aren't really adding anything to my life. Choosing to reallocate this time to reading instead has been such a huge game changer for me. This way I am killing two birds with one stone. So I'm spending less time on social media on an activity that is really not beneficial for me and I am dedicating more time to reading and then reading more books and building up the good habit of reading. Tip number eight, minimize distractions. It is so much easier to focus on a book if there are no visual or auditory cues prompting you to divert your attention to a different task. For example, maybe you know that if your phone is within reach, you'll be very tempted the entire time that you're reading to reach for it every five minutes. Or maybe you know that if your TV is blaring in the background, then you'll want to watch a football game instead of reading. So while you read, Put away and silence your phone, turn off the TV, whatever you gotta do to minimize distractions so you can focus on the task at hand. Last but not least, connect with fellow readers and keep each other accountable. I have several friends and family members who share my interest in reading. We really enjoy texting each other about the books that we're reading, what we like or don't like about certain stories, what we plan to read next all of that good stuff. And we know that reading is important to both of us and so we keep each other accountable for reaching our reading related goals. I find such relationships to be incredibly motivating and empowering so I would encourage you to find like-minded people as well and to inspire one another. All right, and those are my nine tips for how to read more books in 2021. I really hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Let me know in the comments down below what your reading goals are and what your latest read is about. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!